Si va va. Venga. Venga. Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. It is 65 degrees out this morning. Look at these clouds. It's quite chilly this morning. Last night it got down to 45 degrees. Today I'm going to have a small home project to do. I'm not going to do any hiking today. Check out this cactus though, man. The heck is growing on this cactus? Some kind of fungus or something. I have a subscriber who likes cactus. I don't know what that is. It's kind of, it's gooey. Didn't, didn't notice this the other day, I noticed it now though. This is supposed to be a rare cactus too because of the color. I had some guy offer to buy this cactus off of me. He was doing some uh, work in the back there, somebody else's house in the back, and then he was driving by and he saw this cactus and he saw there's another one that the landlord that owns that house in the back where the pit bulls used to be, backed over that. I don't know what this stuff is. Very, very strange. And it's all down and it's all over the cactus. Man, it's really, really on that cactus. This is the only cactus this is on. No clue what that is. <coughs> cactus is probably going to die, though. So anyways, the, the home project i got to do is... Uh, before it starts getting really cold and the pipes freeze over, I have to go to Lowe's and buy some more of this stuff. This padding to keep these pipes from freezing. So that's what's going to be my small home project today. And uh, one more day before I do the drawing tomorrow for the coffee cup. So if you haven't entered yet, today will be the last day you can enter because once today is over, I'll be doing the drawing tomorrow. And uh, if you've entered, well, good luck to you. Got to go to Lowe's. Look at them clouds. They look so cool. It's like we have an overcast day today. We're still going to be up into the high 90s. Although the nights and early mornings are quite chilly for us here in Arizona. I know some people on the north and east coast and northwest coast are like, that's not cold. But it is for us. This is the, uh, I'm going to pull in over here and uh, get some up close cactus footage for a subscriber. This area right here, before I go to Lowe's. This area right here is uh, where the petroglyphs are. If you take this trail right here and you walk just right to this, those mountains right there, or that hill, that's where the petroglyphs are. So, Michael Anderson, uh, this up close footage is going to be for you. So, let me see. I don't have my walking stick, so hopefully, there's no snakes here. There's a saguaro cactus right here. Let's see if I can get in there nice and close. Let's take a look at this big boy here. It takes 10 years for a saguaro cactus to grow one foot. And this bad boy is about 10, 20, 30, I'd say about 40 feet tall. And it's got one, two, three, four arms, four, five arms. Before it could even grow one arm, oh no, it's got more, one, two, three, four, five, six arms, it has to grow to the fullest length first. So it's got all these arms right here. Before it can grow any of those arms, it has to grow to its fullest length possible. 
and then it starts sprouting out these arms. Now, woodpeckers like to live in saguaro cactuses. So let me zoom in on this scarring right here. So that's what that looks like, scarring. Woodpeckers make their homes in swirl cactus. This one has a this has a metal tag on it, so this thing is protected. It's got a wire around it. That's what the thorns look like. Inside this swirl cactus is wood, little narrow strips of wood. It's all scarring from whatever a bird's picking on it or whatever. Now this is a big boy. This this baby is an old one, man. I'll go get a different shot of a different one. I have no idea what kind of cactus this is. So here's a baby one right here. That is scarring from woodpeckers picking on it. I said I wasn't going to do no hiking today, but look at me getting in some hiking in. See that bird over there making that noise? That's a pretty sure that's a cactus wren. Well, I can't tell from there, but let me. It just may be a woodpecker. I can't see the viewfinder. The clouds are messing up my eyesight. So it's either a woodpecker or a cactus ring, but it sounds like a cactus ring. I don't know. If you're a bird buff, you can Google what he looks like. Because I can't tell from here because he's about 200 feet away from me. Let me go to this. These are choya cactus, or what they call it, jumping cactus. It is a nice day, man. It's got a nice little breeze. Nice and cool. And these cactus here, you got you have to watch because see these things right here. You can kick them and then get stuck in your leg. It's got these type of fruit hanging off. Is it eatable? I have no idea. But these are very, very painful cactuses. I've had them stuck in my legs many times from hiking. Sometimes you don't see them. Right here, like, see they're right across this area right here. Boom, kick it and right into your leg. Okay, now here's a different saguaro cactus. It's got four arms. And this one I would say is about 15 feet high. It's got a lot of scarring here. It looks like it had another arm right here. It looks like this arm broke off. At some point in its history, it broke off. Somebody put a rock right there. These are all cactus ribs, swirl ribs. And this is a swirl cactus, not a swirl cactus like Michelle Dooley says. S-A-G-A-U-R-O, swirl. And they're protected cactuses here. I used to have one in my yard and the stupid neighbor in the back knocked, almost knocked it completely over. And before it would die, I called up a guy from uh, Craigslist he has the legal right to um, remove cactuses. And I had to show him all my paperwork in my house that I own the house and the property and everything. And then he uh, dug up the cactus and took it away. And they gave me $10 per foot. And it was an 11 foot cactus. So these are called pincushion cactuses right here. 
these little they got little bitty tiny hooks on each of those thorns there freaking bug buzzing my ear and I'm trying to find a uh, a dead saguaro to show you the ribs but if you follow me on a daily basis you will see what a dead saguaro looks like. Oh here's one right here. That's the ribs inside of saguaro. That's actually a dead one right there. And that's what it looks like inside a saguaro cactus. Those little ribs right there. And even though this is dead and laying on the ground, this is illegal to take out of the desert also. You could get fined up to $5,000 and a year in prison or in jail. Now this cactus right here, this jumping cactus, this is what it looks like on the inside. They're like trees. See this wood? You find these all over the desert. This is what's inside this cactus right here. See right there? So all these cactuses are like wood. Even that ugly scrawny thing right there. Same thing. It's all it's wood. This is a giant barrel cactus. This is the tallest barrel cactus I've ever seen. This is almost my height. This is like, I'm 5'7", and this is almost to the top of my head, although it is curved. You see these little curves? This is what tell you this is a barrel cactus and not a saguaro. This and these pieces of fruit up here. This is a freaking very, very tall barrel cactus. They're usually not this tall. They're usually round and fat. These are prickly pear cactus. You can eat them. I wouldn't uh, suggest it though because they're very bitter. Baby saguaro there. That's a baby there. Now that one's about a foot and a half, so that's about 15 years old. And that's what it looks like on the inside of a prickly pear cactus. See all them fibers? That's a dead prickly pear cactus. Now, I gotta go to Lowe's because I gotta go get this project done. I wasn't gonna turn this into a hike video because I don't have a lot of time today. But how can I get this close to the petroglyphs and not go run over there really quick and look at the petroglyphs, right? So, look at this spider web. Let's go look at the petroglyphs really, really quick and then I gotta go to Lowe's. Here we go. The Hohoke the Ho Indians carved these. They say anywhere between 1,500 years ago, 2,000 years ago. Those spirals, I see them spirals everywhere. All the Indians all around the world make these spirals. Don't know what they are, but it seems like every time I come over here in this area, my batteries get drained pretty quick the longer I stay here. I gave my camera battery a full charge last night and it's already down to half now already. All kinds of petroglyphs. I, I, I just love looking at them. There is very interesting to know that whatever 1,500 years ago, 2,000 years ago ancient Indians were here at this spot and they carved whatever they saw like I don't know what that is but it's very interesting alright I gotta go to Lowe's show this cactus really quick here this thing is about 30 feet tall but then look at it. it's growing a baby arm out of the side there See how cool that is? 
Very, very cool. Just show you the full length here. There's the bottom. And then, yeah, I, I'm just guessing how tall that is, but I would I would say that's anywhere from 30 to 40 feet tall, right there. And then it's growing its first arm out. Look at that. That little arm is probably about eight inches long sticking out of the side there. Pretty cool. There you have it, Michael Anderson. I hope you like those up close videos of the swirl cactuses and the other different types of cactuses. Now, I'm really pressed on time. I gotta go. Alrighty now. They didn't say it's gonna rain, or at least my wife hadn't tell me the news said it's gonna rain. Here it lows now. Look at the sun. Timber tote. Campfire, it's got a little handle. Huh. Look at it. Christmas time. I wanna ask you a question. Do I got any cavities? $29.98. Look, they got tools for women. Look at that. This thing is heavy. 18 pieces. $2.98. Door corner seals. I need a couple of these, man. It seals the inside of your door so no spiders can get in. Now I'm looking for the other insulation for the pipes. Right, this is what I'm looking for. Polyurethane. Uh, one inch. One inch is the biggest I got. This is what I have already on my 725. $10.56 for that seal and this seal oh, I gotta go to work it's 9 30 I'll be back in a couple hours finishing it up at my house I just got home it's 11 45 uh, you see that little gap right there that's what I'm gonna use uh, these door corner seals for I'm gonna try to seal that off with one of these things here and it's hot already outside yeah, they have uh, peeled this off and it's sticky on the back. And what this is, is like a, uh, see if you can see it like this. It's a wedge. See? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it to the inside of the door, right, like, right here, like that. See if I can use two of them in there. It's, that's where it's not sealing. I'm going to get a rag and clean this up a little bit. This is a seal I put in like a year ago, but there's still a gap right here. You get a wet wipe. Okay, I got one in. Cleaned it up with a wet wipe and dried it off. And uh, put the thick part of the uh, the wedge towards that. Man, this sticky tape is really hard to get off. And then I'm going to put a second one right next to the first one. Once it sticks, it sticks. All right, let's see if that sealed up the gap. And there you have it. Look at that. No more gap there. Just a very, very, very tiny, tiny, tiny one at the very bottom, but that will help seal any dust coming in also. Any critters that I don't want to come in. But uh, I haven't had anything come in. I got I got seals everywhere. I got this door seal here, and I got this seal here, and then this one, and then those. All right, now I got to go uh, click, seal up that pipe. 47. It is 92 degrees. They say a high of 98 today. Well, I'm telling you, it is hot and it's humid. See all the clouds over there. All right. I used to have this wrap before, but 
That stupid dog beggar. If you watch me on a daily basis and you know about beggar, he chewed all the stuff that I had around this one. So this one I'm going to just because it does get pretty cold out here from time to time. So I'm going to seal wrap this up and then this one a little bit better too. So here's the before. What this has is like a sticky you peel this plastic stuff off which is really hard and then you can squeeze it together like that in some places it's not going to stick together and that's why I got some black tape and then I'm going to put another one on facing this way put them this way put one like this I'll wrap this with tape first all right there you have it finished project it's not party but it'll work I put the rocks around the bottom there just to Keep anything from going up underneath there same thing with that right there I got rocks shoved in there because if you go to my playlist my snakes playlist where I have videos of snakes I have a video of a king snake he's coming along here and he's going up the wall and he went inside of here before there was no rocks and it's just a hole to get underneath my house <clears throat> I tried to grab him and pull him out, but he's so strong that I eventually just let him go because I was afraid I was going to rip him in half. But uh, I got about a foot and a half of this stuff left over. I'll probably, you know, when it starts getting really, really cold, I'll probably just overlap this like this just to cover this faucet in right here. You know, I'll run some black tape around this. But for now, we don't get too many freezing temperatures here in Arizona, here in Tucson where I live. But we do occasionally, once or twice a year. But that'll work. Got that project done. And now it's time to go make me some lunch. That's going to be my video today. I want you to... Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? And uh, wow, look how fast this is growing out already. I cut these two big branches, this one back here, look how fast I sprouted. Well, all kinds of bees in here today. Remember, take time out, smell the roses, get out there and get into that nature. I'm going inside, I'm hungry. Get out, go, go!